Hi, this is a finally I bring the video for a sump pits. Sump pit is basically function is in basement floor. The water will be not drained to the gutter by the gravity. So we collect the water in the sump pits and throw the water, throw the water to the gutters by the force force lines. So force main lines. So this is a sump pit. So see here, this is sump pits. Install a two pump inside. One is working and one is a standby. See here. There is the chain to lift the pump if the pump is not okay, so you can lift the pumps. And this is also the electric wire is going inside. So this is pipe is water is coming here, water is coming here. So you can see here this is some bits. Approximately the sump side is the uh, 1.5 meter, 1.5 meters. So this is opening of some bits here. So this is a uh, opening here, this is the first main line is going, this is a gate valve, this is called gate valve and this PVC pipe going to the gutters. So some pit basically contain two pumps, one is working and one, one is a uh, uh, standby. So water, when the water will be come to the toilets or the anywhere the washroom, so it will be go here and the, then the level is reached to the water level. So pump automatically on and throw to the throw throw to the manhole so this water we go to the manhole so this is some bit here see here some bit you can see here this is some bits these two pumps one working and with this this whole base they drawn inside the uh, inside the water always these pumps so this is here going here so this is first line pipeline is coming here this is check wall water will be not returned the PVC then this is a gate valve, gate valve is called here, see, this is a gate valve with a flange type gate valve, this time with the flange, flanges, with the bolted, this one, this is the rigid supports of the gate valve, see how they support the rigid with the U-bolt, you can realize the things and also the pipe, PVC pipe support by the, uh, uh, with the gaskets, this coupling supports, you can see here, this is the threaded rod backside of this, that's your threaded rod and this is called for rigid supports also here the rigid support and this is the threaded rod support as per the pipe specification size we use the threaded rod size and this is elbow here elbow and this is also with gasket we always use the pvc pipe with gasket this is going to the manhole but this we call to the force main lines so this is a gate wall you can see this is gate wall Nibago company, the IBM wall, and the gate wall, and this is a check wall. Check wall function is there, or water will be not written if the water will be side of the pipe will be not written. When the when the station will going for a pump to throw the water, pump will be run, and if the one pump is now disorder the other one will be one so we use always two pump is the one working one will stand by so in case of any problem of the installation or the maintenance purpose there is a chain and we lift the pump from the manholes so if you like it this video subscribe my channels thank you thank you thank you for watching this movie this is officially thank you bye have you watched this is officially i bring the video for a uh, uh, some pump installation detail and some pit how you have to install it in some pit the sump pump so this is for drainage system and plumbing section so you have to understand so uh, i will be show the plan and section this is basically we seeing as well this is a lift station details and regulars so you say lift station or this one so we have to start from here this is basically what is a sump pump you know i will tell you because in the basement 1 and basement 2 and basement 3 there is the drainage system for example there is a toilets and washroom area in, in basement 2 or basement 3 or there is uh, some drainage we need from there for, from the basement so by the gravity this because this manhole is uh, in ground floor or ab uh, above of the soil so we cannot be by the gravity we have to drain the water so we have to make in the in last basement for example we have a building with this basement 3 in basement 3 we have to make a sump pit or uh, some we have to install inside the some some pump and some other pump we have to say like that mechanicals 
so we install this one and water will be come here and then we'll go to the this is a just concept so I will show you we say this is a lift station for detail of regulator so you can see this is a plan we showing this is plan you can see here this is a duplex duplex type of some other pump some pump this is a size of opening this 800 by 1200 mm and prefabricated cast iron manhole frame and cover so this is see here this is like that this is opening here this is some pump discharge line this is a discharge line for some pump so pump will be keep inside the manhole and it will be connect to this one and it will be go out like that so so this is a drainage inlet plan this is vent pipe they are showing like that so so you can see A, B, C and this is a duplex pump like that so this is a lift station schedule and you can see here this is so this is a, I show you this is a plan so we have to cut this plan this is section mark with the an architectural so we will make the section for this one you can see this is inlet vent pipe vent pipe is compulsory to install in any manhole or any uh, hole like that because there are some gases or something is uh, uh, you know, say toxic gases or harmful gases will be uh, stuck there and if you some person go inside it will be unconscious or getting a problem so we need a vent pipe as well this this pipe is going to the drain manhole nearest manhole or this main go to the nearby uh, nearest flow drain or like that so this is like that so you see here this is a sump pump duplex we say type of the sump pump we have to stall to the two one here and one back side of this one because section we can see only one one is a working and one by the standby uh, this is this is the purpose so we stall like that so we see here refer to the structural drawing for thickness of the wall like that so this is guide bar we have to provide our one rod like that guide bar so the pump will be be connected with this one we can lift from this with the chain chain lifting we can uh, this is waterproof we will fill the water it will be not will be affected so it will be always we stay with the water so don't worry about that so water will be stay with this so it will be stay inside of the water the pump will be stay inside the water so don't worry so outlet inlet this is water is coming from the uh, water so, uh, drainage system this is for example toilet or washing area this water is coming to the in some pit or this is for rain water some water is coming here so when the level will be high it will be automatically switch on it will be drained this is see here this pipe is going here I'm going to the discharge line to the manhole or this one here. So we store like that. So this is basically one is a rod. We say guide bar. We store we have to lift like that. Up and down this a pump like that. And this is a chain. We can be this is lifting chain. We can be by the this help of this chain we can lift this one. So you see this the depth with the varies as per the standard as per the design how much the design needs this one so this is also varies but this is from the pipe it will be 100 alarm you know alarm level this is alarm level will be the 110 this is a vent pipe vent pipe I will show you here this is when vent pipe will be as well we have to stall here okay alarm level this pump is start from here okay pump is start one here okay and this is a pump stop here so this is showing a dimension for this as per the installation and this you can see here low level of water high level of water and highest level of the waters like that inlet pipe is coming from the drainage system so this is guide bar you can see this is manhole topping like that so you can see here this is a check valve non return valve water will be if case of the water will be stay here so it will not come back this is gate valve as usually we're using a gate valve from here 
this is a wipe this is a you say mm, increase this one because this increase the uh, pipe level pipe size of here this some pipe discharge level so this is a one pipe i told you show in here we have to connect like there one pipe are not showing here in this section so we cut here from the architecturally so this is a plan this is a section you can understand the many things in the some part detail this is a a level this is a b c this is very easy but that's why we put a dimension like that so this is a lift station detail they are saying this is some dimension for lift station this is a two bar or this is liter per second pump capacity need this one so because we have four lift station so this schedule is making for a four so we this is a two lift station two this is a 1200 b 400 c 800 d 1200 1200 f 1200 dimensions this is showing like the of the g 800 this pump capacity we using a 3.1 and this is ths 2 bar because this is uh, lift station 2 so we given to the detail for lift station 2 hope you understand this video and if you have any question like in this some page detail so ask me I will clarify with this section. And kindly prescribe my channel if you did not prescribe till now. And I have to make the more videos for you. Thank you for watching. And bye bye. Welcome.